everybody's having a great day. Um, so I did a video a bit of, a little while ago on the um, island cabinet build that I did with the uh, cabinetry. And over in that corner over there, it's uh, there's a, another piece of the cabinet that's for a desk area. Um, and I was going to do another video on the countertops once we saved up enough to do our countertops. So, you go ahead. We now have some butcher block here. We've been sealing the butcher block. That's another small piece there. Uh, and the other piece is right there. I've got to secure them to the counter, but I've also Today, I'm going to be sanding all the doors, all the drawers, and then once I'm done with doors and drawers, on this whole section, I've got uh, another cabinet area with drawers, and then this section here with drawers and doors. That'll be sanded as well, and then the face of the cabinets will be sanded. We're going to paint them white for now, temporary, because we're trying to save to put new cabinets in. Uh, my wife wants, I believe it's uh, shaker style cabinetry, so we're saving up for that. Um, but we've already got, let me go ahead and walk over to it. We've already got new countertops and, of course, premium space here. Um, I've had to put them in front of the fireplace area to seal them with um, a couple of coats of mineral oil. And if you've never done countertops, butcher block countertops, um, there's a couple things you probably want to know when you buy them or before you buy them. Within 48 hours, typically you've got to have them sealed with mineral oil or whatever you're going to seal them with. Um, you're going to probably want to sand them with like 220 grit or higher sanding paper. Um, once you've put a couple of coats on, you can sand it and put another coat on after you wipe it all down to get all the sawdust off of it. But um, to keep it from cupping or bowing, they also recommend that you have them installed within a couple of weeks of having them. And we've been um, saving and purchasing pieces of the countertop areas for over a month. So we're, we're, we're past the couple of weeks, but luckily for us, these have not cupped or bowed. Um, also, where your counters join together, if you're going to do a, um, a butt joint or a um, miter joint, they also recommend, or at least these, the ones we got them from, say that you should not glue them together. Because, of course, wood is going to swell and um, it's going to like expand and contract um, with um, moisture. So, they don't want you to glue it because then, of course, that, that messes it up. And where we got our countertops, it also voids any kind of warranty that they would give you. So, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and start um, getting everything out of the drawers. I'm um, taking the doors off and I'm going to start sanding and painting those today and um, we'll do some video of that. So I'll have the camera back on here when I start that process. <laughs> 